hello and welcome to my channel in this video for today I'm going to be showing you email marketing strategies that you can use as a new live distributor to get emails from your prospective um, distributors or prospective buyers of new life products so without wasting much time let's go straight and start the very first thing you need to do in this strategy is to find your landing page link as a new live distributor you are given a free landing page the landing page involves a form where people can put in their emails and anybody that actually puts in an email in this landing page simply means that the person is interested in your business that is the power of email marketing so the next question is how do you get your landing page once you put in this on the google to take it to your landing page that means you put in your name the name you use to open your new life then put a dot then put team new life put a dot again put dot com put a forward slash register so once you do that in google if I take it now and put it in Google, copy the link, and I go to Google, and just put it in here. If you look right here, that is the landing page. If I click on it, it takes me to my own landing page so that's exactly what you do your name teamnewlife.com slash register once you do that and click on that link it will take you to your landing page this is a landing page prepared for you by new life as you can see it has my name my number and my email so that is phase one once you've gotten this your link just keep it on your google doc copy it somewhere this is my google doc I just copied it and kept it somewhere. Now that I've give, shown you how to get your link, the next question is, how do you then get people to sign up on this link or to put in their emails? There are two basic ways I normally use to get people to sign up, uh, put in their emails on my landing page. First one is through my YouTube channel. If you don't have a YouTube channel, I have a video on how you can create your YouTube channel, optimize it, SEO optimize it, and all that. I have the video in this, my YouTube channel. If you already have a YouTube channel, then very good. All you have to do is that when you're, once you uploaded your videos, you ensure that you put in that link. That is my link. I put in that link in all the videos I upload or about in your life. I put something like you need more information click below anybody that clicks here now it will take them to that landing page let me show that to you like if i go live with this video if somebody is watching this video this is my video right now and the person clicks here for show more you see this my link right here so if somebody now clicks here it will take them to my landing page like somebody that wants to know more about new life or more about this business takes them to my landing page and the person can put in their name, their surname and their email and their number. And once they click on tell me more, that email will get to my contact list, which I'm going to show you in the subsequently in this video. So number one way to get leads or to get email signups is to put that link under your YouTube videos if you have a YouTube channel. If you don't have a YouTube channel, the second way that I get emails, get people to sign up, is through my new life blog. This is my new life blog. If you want to find out how to create such a blog, I also have a link in my YouTube channel taking you step by step on how you can create this blog. I'll put the link below this video now this is how i get some leads. somebody comes to this block or lands on this block 
the very first thing on the first page, person will see this. Would you like to live healthy and also earn? Click here. So once the person clicks here, it takes them to this my landing page and the person can put in their names and everything, their email address and all that. So that is the second way that I collect uh, email addresses. And I'm going to show you how you can do this on your own blog. First, you come to Canva to create that particular image that I showed you. I created a custom size image, 400 by 400 pixels. So once you get to your Canva account, if you don't have a Canva account, you can register for a free Canva account. I will also have the link below this video. So once you come to the your Canva account, just go to custom size and then put in this 400 by 400 pixels. And once it tells you that you click here, it will tell you to create a new design. It takes you to this page. So it is this page here that I now created this design. What I did was first to get a picture. And what you do, you just go to text, no, go to photo, and then just put in work from home. You see all kinds of photos showing people working with computer and all that. You know, you can pick anyone. Anyone that you see this uh, sign here, you know it's for the paid Canva Pro. But most this one doesn't have any sign. This doesn't have any sign. So you can pick any nice picture and then just put it right here. And then you can coin up whatever you want to coin up, you know, that will make people want to click. Like me, I wrote, would you like to live healthy and also earn? So click here. So that's what I did. I put this here. To put this here, just go to text. If you don't know how to use Canva, I also have a video on how you can use Canva as a beginner. But if you know how to use it, then you don't have any problem on how you can put your text. You just click for the text and then write whatever you want to write. Reduce it the way you want to reduce it. Change the color the way you want to change the color and all that. So it's as simple as that. So once you put that in, let me remove this. So once you put your wordings, you get this link. I just go to elements and I just put click link. You put click link, you see all kinds of link that you can, you know, just use to do what you can use. This is pro, you can use it. Just look for a link that is not pro. Sorry. So if you search down, you can find a link that is not pro or you can even create this by yourself. What you have to do is to create this shape and then just right inside, click here. It's very simple. So once you're done with that, you now click here and download it to your, in a PNG, I normally use JPG, JPG is lighter, so that your website will not be slow in loading. So once you do that, you will just click on download. And once you do that, it will download, download it on my desktop, this is my desktop. Once you have that on your desktop, just come back here and get to the back office of your Word press this is my back office so what you do just go to appearance and then go to widgets so this here is your widgets section so what you want to do now is to add that picture that you have on your computer desktop that is the picture here but i'm going to show you how i brought this picture here so once you get to your widgets section just scroll down Remember, this is your sidebar. You see it here. This is your sidebar. So you just scroll down. Scroll down to the almost to the bottom. Then from this plus now, you just click on it. Add a block. And then you just click on image. I will tell you to upload your image. So if you have any the image in your media library, you go and upload it from your media library. Or you upload it directly from your uh, desktop. So once you click there, it opens up your desktop where you can get the image and then upload it. But I'm not going to do that. That, that is essentially what you need to do. Or I'll just uh, I'll do it, then I'll delete it. So once you click on your image and then you open it, your image is there. Your image is there. And once your image is there, you see these two bars comes up. That's for you to add a link to this image. So to add a link to the image so that when somebody clicks this image, it takes them to that place. You come here and click here. A box opens. 
and then you go to your i'll go back to my documents and then collect that my link this is my google doc this is my landing page so i will just copy that link and come back and i'm going to paste that link right here and once i paste it i come here drop down i click here to open in a new tab and that's all so i have linked this now to my new life landing page and once you've done that if you want whatever position you want it to be if you want to it to come up you just click on this arrow and then keep shifting it up once you click it to go up it will go up just like so you keep clicking it to go up so that's what i did until it came up to where i want it to be that is it here so that's essentially how to do once you finish with that you just click update and then you see it on your page but i cannot have two of it so i'll just click here and i'll remove this so that one is there so once you click on update it will save it and then you can go to your site and see what it looks like and that is our opt-in That is our simple, my simple opt-in page. So anybody that comes to my blog, on my home page, you will see this. So that's about how to do it. Now we are done with that. The next question is, where does all this email contacts, where does it go to? And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Once you get to your new life back office, this is my new life back office, and you go on TNL, you get to contacts here and click on manage contact these are all your contacts these are all my contacts right now so now if I want to put this contact on my drip email and I'll show you what how to do that if you don't know what drip email is I have a video below this video where I told you how to do free drip email marketing with new life app or new life uh, team new life I have a video just on how to create drip emails which I'm not going to discuss here in this section I'm just going to show you what to do when you have your contacts already in place so once you come here to your contacts and you have your contacts already here once you've selected the emails of the people that have signed up under you you come here to actions and then you go to add to drip email and the drip email i want to add you just look for all your campaigns all your campaigns you've already done are here you can decide to send it if they are new distributors once you click here it will be drip emails that has to do with people that have already signed up as new distributors if you are just prospects that just signed up they have not really signed up yet as distributors you can click here this one too for me is for people that just signed up they have not signed up as distributors i did this for them so i'm starting with this one congratulations and then i fix a date that i want to send it let's say i want to send it tomorrow i fix that date here and then i'll click on add to drip email so that's all these people will be sent that particular email tomorrow and then i can select them all again select them all again and then go back to the same actions go back to add drip email this time around i'm sending another email let's say i want to send um, new prospect here and then under that new prospect there are some things here look at all this send all messages sent so let's do this make people's lives better is what we do okay then i'll come here unless i want to send this three days later i'll just go to june then maybe i'll send this on a thursday out second that's three days after the first one 
so i'll just click here and then i'll just do add to drip email added contacts to campaign new prospect so that is what you will do once you have some few emails you come down and then set it up set up the days that you want all those your drip emails to go to their particular emails You can now continue, select it all again, go back to your actions, add your drip email, come down, take the second one, it depends on if this is the one that you want, live your best life with whole food nutrition, and then change the date, this is on the second, I want to send this one four days after that. So that will be on the 6th of June and then add to drip email. So now you get the picture. That is just essentially how you do. You can create many drip emails and then you come here and then just fix it up to the different days that you want these emails to go to all your people that have signed up under you. Not, peop not distributors but prospects. Some people just put in their emails. They don't actually sign up at distributors. So when you keep sending them such emails, maybe they will now be convinced to be able to sign up. So that is essentially, you can create as much as 10 or 20, space them out 7-7 seven, seven days or so. So you find that at least for the next 2-3 months, your email will be landing on their uh, emails, their uh, email box. So they will be seeing it, they will be reminded. So if you are lucky, one or two may sign up. So that's essentially the strategy that I use and I've been using to be able to get um, distributors uh, to sign up as new life distributors. So that's about how it is to capture or get people to sign up, the right people to sign up as um, distributors, people that are interested in your business. If you want to find out how to create drip emails, Please click the link below this video and it will take you to a video where I explained, it's explained in detail how you can do free email marketing with New Life. This video is about strategies, how to do email marketing strategies, how to get um, people to sign up, places that you can put your links where people can easily click and sign up as distributors so with this i've come to the end of this um, video i hope you've learned one or two things and i hope you're going to practice it thank you so much for watching till my next video